We have already seen that the motor speed is proportional to the rate of command pulses. So, if uh, the number of pulses or command pulses frequency is more, then the speed of uh, stepper motor will be more. If the number of pulses uh, rate or the frequency is less, then the speed will be less. Okay. So, due to this property, this uh, stepper motors are very well suited for open loop position and speed control applications. Generally, stepper motors are operated by electronic circuits with DC supply. Nowadays, semiconductor devices such as thyristors, transistors, power transistors, MOSFETs, IGBTs are very common in the stepper motor driver circuits. In open loop mode, the controller, which is some sort of integrated circuit or the microprocessor or any processor that generates a train of input pulses as per the requirement. If not only it not only generates the pulses, but also controls the logic sequence, timings, etc so that the of the pulses so that the direction of motor can be reversed or at what time uh, the frequency should be increased or at what time the frequency should be decreased so that decisions will be taken by the uh, microcontroller or a processor such a control signal uh, generated is given to the driver circuit which accordingly excite the phases of the stepper motor because the input controller which is the microprocessor or any processor it generates the control or actuating signal now the level of this uh, current level of these uh, actuating signals they are very small and they are unable to drive the phase or windings of this uh, particular stepper motor so in order to raise the current level of these pulses, this driver circuits are used. So usually uh, they are uh, of, uh, they are the power circuits. So it includes the thyristors, power transistors, or IGBTs, um, MOSFETs, and so on. So which increases the current level of these pulses, which are generated by this controller, and these are then applied to these uh, phase windings, which in turn controls the speed of this uh, stepper motor and carry the load okay so um, the open loop control of the stepper motor is very simple and attractive no feedback element like position or speed sensor is necessary in this since the command is in pulses the motor is compatible to digital systems. The open loop control is economical and has wide acceptance in speed and position control applications. But this method of open loop control has its own limitations. In some speed ranges, the response of the stepper motor may become oscillatory. Similarly, it fails to follow the input pulses when the stepping rate is too high or the load inertia is too large. Due to these reasons, the open loop mode of operation is limited and that's why due to these limitations of open loop control, a closed loop control of stepper motor is generally preferred in practice. So, this is the uh, closed loop uh, mode of um, stepper motor in which the input controller can remain same. So which generates the control signal. Then electronic drive circuit also can be remaining same. Then these are the phases. This is the stepper motor and this is the load. 
so this entire diagram for this particular forward path remains same as that of the previous one open loop only difference here is a sample feedback is taken and a feedback element will apply it to the input controller so that this controller can take the action based on what is the status of the present output so as per the status of present output the present output status is measured by this feedback element and which will give this information back to this controller and based on the set input and the present input uh, set output and the present output the input controller will decide the control action and that action will be reflected in the control signal okay so this is the uh, brief uh, explanation so in a closed loop control the input controller gets the information about the output through the feedback element hence the driver circuit receives the control signal which is based on the feedback information so switching of the motor takes place by means of trains of input pulses which is generated on the basis of feedback from the rotor such a switching of motor is called the closed loop mode of operation of the stepper motor and it is illustrated in this particular figure now let us take uh, an example of temperature control of water tank now let us consider a closed loop temperature control system the temperature of the tank is required to be kept constant with the help of controlling the steam flow there exists a wall which whose position is to be controlled by the stepper motor to control the steam flow the actual temperature is sensed by the uh, temperature by using the temperature sensor and this feedback is given to the input controller the input controller has the reference information corresponding to the desired ideal temperature and it compares the feedback with this reference to get the appropriate control signal this control signal in turn given to the driver circuit then this driver circuit controls the excitation and logical sequence of the excitation of the phases this drives the stepper motor and hence wall opening gets controlled appropriately so that steam flow gets controlled this maintains the temperature of the tank to a constant value so this is illustrated in this particular figure i'll explain it uh, once in detail let us say uh, you want to keep the temperature of this uh, uh, water in the tank now the temperature which you want to be maintained at say 100 uh, degree centigrade so the desired temperature uh, is your 100 degree centigrade okay uh, degree celsius so if this is the uh, temperature uh, say 100 degree and the actual temperature say actual temperature may be say 60 degree so if 60 degree is the actual temperature which will be measured by this temperature sensor now this temperature sensor may be your thermometer or um, any thermocouple or um, temperature measuring device right so this temperature measuring device will measure this temperature say so it is 60 degree so 60 degree information will be given to this particular input controller so input controller will have two informations now one is desired temperature which is 100 degree and the actual temperature which is the 60 degree so this input controller will take the difference between these two and will come to know that the temperature of this water in the tank should be increased so in order to increase the temperature you have to increase the steam flow that means by opening the wall position 
you have to open the valve so that more steam will pass so this controller will give the control signal which will open the valve of the steam flow right and that will be applied to this driver circuit so which will raise the uh, current level and will be supplying this uh, higher uh, current level uh, values to the um, um, phases of the stepper motor um, stator winding uh, phases of the stepper motor in turn the stepper motor will rotate in that direction which will open this valve position and as the valve position is opened more steam flow will be there in the tank and the temperature of the water in the tank will raise now let us say it will raise beyond 100 say actual temperature has reached to 110 degree so which will be again sensed by this temperature sensor which will give the information to input controller now the desired temperature is 100 whereas the actual temperature is 110 so as the difference is negative this input controller will take a opposite action that means it will try to close this valve so that's why accordingly it will give the control signal to this driver circuit which will raise the current level and will apply to the stepper motor and the stepper motor will rotate in such a way that which will close the valve position now as the valve position is closed less steam flow will be provided in the tank so that the temperature in the uh, temperature of water in the tank will start reducing and whenever it will be reached to 100 degree then that information again will be transmitted at input controller when both these desired temperature information and the feedback signal uh, temperature information both these matches then this controller will stop the um, rotations of this valve that means it will keep the valve in the same position so that the same flow of steam will be provided to the tank water in the tank so that the temperature of water in the tank will remain constant so in this way we can control the temperature of uh, this uh, water in the tank okay another example we can take of speed control of uh, stepper motor so in uh, speed and position control systems optical encoders coupled to the motor so these are the optical encoders they are coupled to the uh, rotor of the shaft they are used so similarly use of microprocessors as an input controller for better accuracy is very common nowadays so now if you want to control speed of the stepper motor then job instruction and program you can uh, do through this uh, um, external uh, peripheral peripherals to this uh, microprocessor system and this optical encoders uh, read the position of the rotor and that information is given as a feedback to this microprocessor so this microprocessor will generate the control signal accordingly whether the uh, set speed is more than the actual speed or actual speed is more than the set speed so depending on these two this control signal will be either positive or negative which will be further amplified and applied to the driver circuit which will rotate this motor either it will increase the speed of this or it will decrease the speed of this shaft and again further it will be uh, noted by this optical encoder and fed back for the closed loop action and the uh, speed of this uh, stepper motor can be controlled to a constant value so i hope we have finished uh, all this um, uh, stepper motors i hope you have understood uh, what are the um, what are stepper motors what are the different uh, types of stepper motors variable reluctance stepper motor permanent magnet stepper motor hybrid stepper motor then 
the comparison points between variable reluctance and permanent uh, magnet stepper motors then the uh, after comparison we have seen few definitions and then the torque uh, speed characteristics of uh, static and dynamic characteristics of uh, stepper motor and then the applications of stepper motor both open loop as well as closed loop so thank you we'll stop here uh, today's discussion thank you bye good day and take care